Good book. Uh, no, Tujin. Damn. Oh. Excuse me? What? Re? Okay. That's the first time I've seen that. Like, outside of Sanctum. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm gonna record this. I'm gonna do a flawless Ulnatol Breachstone. At 48% XP at level 96. Let's see how much XP I can get. Lord7, hi, thank you for the follow. Good timing. Ready for some content? Hey boss, how's the runs? Going pretty well. I am sitting on like 15 div because I've run out of ideas. So I'm just gonna keep going, try to get levels, and then worry about upgrades. You've just started? Cool. Any questions? I'll be happy to help. Okay, I have fucked up already. Yeah, majorly fucked up that start. Let's try to catch up. I'll be happy to answer questions after this. I need to catch up on this so I don't lose this now. I think I'm okay though. That timer at the top, I can't let that reach zero. I mean, I get time for killing everything, but rares in particular give good time. I had a really bad start, so I lost like five or six seconds at least. I went away. Perfect. Good shit. So what was I at? 49 seconds? Sorry, 49%? 56. 7% XP. I don't know if that's worth it. A lab grind I don't mind. I don't mind it either because it's really rewarding when it does pay off. Pro tip, grind Uber Lab. Anything else isn't really worth it. Made a lot of currency from lab? Doing what? Just like leveling up and selling gems, or...? Gems is such a good source of avenue. Getting enlightened. Oh, okay, yeah. I found an enlightened on the ground. I was so fucking happy when that happened. Like, you got no idea. How much are they? They're three div minimum. Fuck me. God damn. Yeah, I'm so glad I found one. Oh, probably Kirak. Probably Kerak missions, actually. I just got another Sacred Orb? What the fuck? That's the second one today. That's insanely rare. This is your first ever SSF? Nice. I think SSF is the correct way to play the game. It makes the game take longer, yes. But it makes you appreciate fucking everything you find and everything you do. Nothing gets diluted because of trade. Everything you achieve is from your own power and your own luck. Your own crafting, your own mapping. I think it's the correct way to play the game. Oh, hello, Divine. Okay, how much is this card going for? 89C. It's listed for 90. I want Chaos. I have Divine Beauty. 88C. Beautiful. I fucking love the auction house. This is so seamless. Ooh, actually, I was meant to show you guys this before I left. I crafted something insane today. I made an almost perfect cluster jewel. T1, perfect life, 35% effect, 3% attack and car speed. This is basically perfect, but it's empty. 
it's missing something. So, okay, this is going to be a big gamble. This has an open suffix, so this could roll Chaos Res. If this gets Chaos Res, this is insanely good. If this gets Stats, or Chaos Res, or any Res, frankly, this is great. If this gets something bad, I'm going to Fracture it anyway, because then I have a 3 out of 4 chance of hitting one of these perfect mods. So I'm going to Slam it. If the slam sucks, I'm going to fracture it. If the slam doesn't suck, I'm going to sell it. No point thinking. Dex. Awful. Legitimately awful. That's only 20 dex, though. That's still quite bad. Okay, I think I should fracture this. Boom. Oh. Oh. That's so much fucking money. Okay, what do we think? Do I use this one to try to make a perfect one, or do I sell this for 30 div? Because I have one with ES and Chaos Res, but it could be better. Yeah, today's a lucky fucking day for me. I'm gonna slam this, then go take a break. That's an expensive slam. Okay, what are we praying for? We're praying for int or es. Or life. Armor. Fuck you. It's already completely, perfectly capable, as we can see. So now it's a question of what else can I do? Where else can I push it? Awaken multi? What? True. How much more damage is Awaken multi strike? It's unreasonably expensive, isn't it? Let me check. What is the current price of Awakened Multi? Let's get my live reaction. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Ugh. Oh. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Okay, this is gonna get messy, but should be pretty fun. Okay, Anarchy Craft, Blue Altars, Breaches as well. Titanic Scarab of Treasures, two Anarchies. So treasures adds rewards, gigantification has 30% chance for a rogue giant, and 50% chance for pairs, which I kind of want to replace with another rogue giant. And go. Let's see how much gold I get. Well, okay, gold. Slightly worse than just breach. I don't think these are- oh god, okay, shit. But please, for the love of god, learn some basic scientific facts that everyone should know. Like how a microwave works. Because I have had to correct someone at Subway, because they put a, like a 10 liter tub of meatball soup in a microwave, and then they put my three chicken strips in front of that fucking tub of sauce in the microwave together and they turned it on for three minutes and I said, that chicken's gonna come out cold. And they were like, what do you mean? I'm putting it in the microwave. It'll, it'll, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. He touched it and it was still fucking cold. And I had to explain to a man, had to explain to a grown adult how a microwave works. I understand not everyone gives a shit, but I feel like you need to understand how certain things work, like electricity. Learn why the sky is blue. Learn about gravity in general. Don't become a flat earther by accident. It happens. Understand cars more than politics? Good. Good stuff. Now, it would be really funny if you said you know nothing about cars. 
Isn't the sky blue because of the ocean? That is such a fucked up way to say that, but yes. Okay, this is wave 15 simulacrum. If I can do this, I can be pretty happy. I want to go to a Flat Earth convention. Okay, this is a guilty pleasure of mine, but I actually love Flat Earthers. I unironically... I don't watch their content, but I watch content breaking down their content. Because that's how I learn a lot about science, is... Basically, everything Flat Earthers think is wrong, and I watch people explain why, and it actually teaches me a bunch of things. It's really handy. Instead of being a land mass of ice, they think it's a ring around a flat disk world. They essentially think that there is an ice wall surrounding us, and that there is either infinite ice going out from that, or that's an ice wall that's hiding other continents, and other seas, and other oceans and lands. And that's why they're keeping a secret, because the the Illuminati wants to keep all that land for themselves. Oh yeah, Renee, did I tell you that, um, Mr. Gan got name-dropped hard in a Slippery Gym video for Path of Exile? Mr. Gan helped a Path of Exile YouTuber do a really fun little project, little fun video project where they, they didn't steal a mirror, but they did scam someone out of a mirror. But it wasn't really a scam. Someone listed a mirror on the auction house for, was it 65,000 alchemy shards? And Mr. Gan went, bet. And him and a couple other people tried to do that and tried to race towards that. And it was really funny. It's a good video. If you don't know Slippery Jim on YouTube, look him up. He's a good Path of Exile YouTuber and he needs more credit. Holy shit! Oh, it's actually perfect. Oh. Am I recording? Oh, thank fuck. <laughs> 